Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is June 6, 2022. Let's take a look at top biotechnology stocks. So with that, we'll start with a quick market update. Look from a market update perspective, we got futures market here. Looks like we are going to have a good uptick here today. We got uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average up 276 points. And we got NASDAQ, which is up about 184 points. S&P 500 up slightly, up 45 points. And Russell also up 21 points. So with that, look, it's a market really going up and down here. As of now, it's uh, showing some slight progress. Since uh, last couple of weeks, it's been uh, doing very well, as you can see here. So there is some upward trend. Looks like it's uh, facing some resistance, as you can see here. So this could be a resistance level. It can come down from here. And look from a gold perspective, gold is doing pretty well here. It's a you know, nice uptick in gold, as you can see here. Crude oil is doing very well. It's bouncing up and down. On any bad day in crude oil, you could buy some great energy stocks. And bonds are selling off, as you can see here, down tick. And we got inflation or interest rates ticking higher, as you can see here. That's going to put some pressure on the market. That's why this is a trader's market. It goes up and down. So that's why you got to buy, uh, you know, buy put spreads when the market is going higher like this. And then buy call spreads when the market is tanking down. So that's one of the good strategies that works out very well. Instead of, uh, instead of doing things like iron condor, you could uh, instead buy put buy put options on the top and buy call options on the bottom that's a very good strategy that works out very well in the market and you can make some good money with the strategy so with that what we'll do now is we'll go into top biotechnology stocks that you can buy and go from there i will take you to this uh, spreadsheet here what i've done is uh, i've sorted uh, these uh, biotechnology stocks here by market cap the way I construct these charts is I look at the data from multiple sources. Um, as you can see, um, you know, we got data from uh, Finviz, we got data from TradingView, and data from Stock Rover. Uh, those are the primary data sources here. And then I bring them together in Excel macro so that way I can make sense out of the market. And look, top market cap perspective, we got Regenron. Regenron is one of my favorite stock here. Look, stock has been down off late. You could uh, you could uh, understand that by just by looking at the RSI here. RSI level is uh, 39. That tells you stock is sold off. And in, in this chart here, I only brought the stocks with the RSI below 50. I want to look at the good stocks with the which are sold off here. That's why I brought brought the stocks with the RSI less than 50. And look, IV percentile that tells you how is the implied volatility is 56. That's relatively high. That tells you, you can make some good money in region run by selling put options way below or you could even sell some put spread here. And as we scan through here, I got a short ratio and a few more things here. More importantly, look, this company is making money. Uh, look at the net margin here. Net margin is 48%. This company is making money. And then as you scan through here, we got uh, float, which is very low float. That tells you stock can go higher. There is uh, not too much uh, stocks available here. And look, earnings per share is positive. Company is making money. And as you scan through here, we got performance, three month, one year, five year, and even 10 year. This company is uh, one for your long term account. Look at the 10 year performance, 365%. That tells in the long run that company can do very well. And the short run companies are going through some trouble here. That's when you buy the stock. And as you scan through here, they got nice amount of cash. Look at the cash here. They got $7 billion of cash. Nice free cash flow, almost $8 billion. Great uh, free cash flow as well as cash. And they have some debt, which is manageable, very low debt. And look from a next year EPS and revenue growth perspective, a nice EPS growth, earnings per share growth and revenue growth for next year. I like it. Altman Z score 9.8. That tells it's a great company. They got nice financial positioning here. Piotrowski F score is eight. It's one of the great scores. It goes up to nine. Uh, anytime it's over uh, six, I like it. But this one has got a nice Piotrowski F score that tells you books are solid. 
and then as you can see here we got here morning star uh, grades here for financial growth and profit and look at that great here perfect grade when it comes to finance financial strength growth and profitability that's why region run is one of my top pick here you could uh, buy this great company it's a uh, beaten down here then as you see here it gets a perfect overall score 100 out of 100 and it's got a buy rating from analysts so that's why it's one of my top pick here so i think you said it's a great one if you don't own region run consider buying region run it's a great one so now what we'll do is we'll go into uh, finviz platform which is one of my favorite platform to research these stocks here look i got region run right here in finviz platform i could uh, look at the news item here you can see here one of the reason region run is down here is because it's buying a stake uh, in um, in a sanofi stake in a lib tayo that's why stock is down here the moment uh, they stake out you know so much money about 1.1 billion dollars uh, to uh, you know to buy this uh, uh, i think they're uh, they're buying a 1.1 billion deal to rival Merck in cancer. I think they won't really um, compete uh, effectively with the, or Merck here. That's why they're buying the stake in Sanofi's uh, Lib Tayo. So with that, uh, let's jump in here and look at a little more detail about region run. All right, if I double click on this Finviz platform, opens up a nice and big chart here. I like this chart it kind of gives a very good idea if I like to look at the chart I could also go here and go to their chart platform right here they got a nice chart platform I could bring here region run and you know Finviz platform also gives black and white chart here which is uh, it, uh, it's pleasing for your eyes as you can see here and look right now uh, region run stock has been uh, it's, it's a nice uptick um, overall as you can see here nice uptick overall it's doing well nice uptick but right now look at this big candle here right now it's uh, coming down here um, and after dropping big time it's uh, trying to go higher as you can see here and rsi perspective look rsi is 46 which is pretty low at this time that's one of the reason i like it it's a great company but right now it's sold off here so with that uh, let's go back here uh, to our chart and see what's going on with this company all right i got region run here <laughs> and look at those uh, you know drops here it's been dropping since last three days as you can see here now there's a nice uptick it's consolidating that's why i like it here at these levels and as we scan through here we got uh, statistics about this company look at that earnings per share they're growing their earnings per share i like it uh, when the company grows their earnings per share and this company is also has uh, this company has got nice sales look at the sales uh, latest uh, 2021 sales is 16 billion dollars that's a great sales it's improving at the same time look at the shares outstanding it's falling it's a good good one here and as you see here we got uh, we got uh, the gross margin and profit margin look at that margin here margin is great uh, no need to worry and as you scan through here we got uh, insiders uh, selling slightly not a big deal and institutions are buying that's a good sign here so overall you know it works out here they are doing pretty well and from a news item perspective look uh, they got uh, analysts initiating in uh, june 6th which is uh, pretty latest is today and they got an outperform rating with a 536 dollar price target and as you look here current price is about 630 looks like uh, you know this uh, uh, this uh, analyst is uh, underperform rating and with a lower target that happens from time to time i would not be worried too much at the same time if you look at one more target here may 23 and this analyst is saying outperform with the 738 uh, target which is much ahead of current price uh, price right now <clears throat> so that's why i think it's a good one overall then as you look through here i think it's mainly because they're buying this stake in sanofi and paying a good amount of money that's why it's uh, coming down off late all right now you might wonder okay you know let's see what's how is how are the numbers on a quarterly basis i can click on this quarterly right here 
and look from a revenue perspective as you scan through this looks like they have not done great in last uh, uh, you know 331 quarter uh, but i think overall is trending pretty okay here and if you look at uh, you know research and development they're spending money on r d which is great and as you scan through here, uh, I think overall they're doing very well. Net in, net in income perspective, I think it came slightly down. But, you know, company, uh, you know, you have to look at the, uh, compare the same quarter. I think overall it's doing well, slight down here. That's why they're buying this company to grow and uh, be more profitable. All right, so with that, let's jump in here and uh, look at this company in a little more detail. I will take you to Thinkorswim platform from, from, from TD Ameritrade. All right, let's bring up uh, Regenron here, which is one of my favorite stock, <clears throat> and see what's going on here. All right, we got Re Regenron, uh, Regen. All right, so we got region round right here. We got a one day, uh, one year chart as you can see here. And look, uh, as usual, um, as we last saw earlier, stock has been coming down since past three days. And now it's saying enough is enough. It's what it wants to go higher. As you scan through here, RSI perspective related to strength index came down here. Now it wants to go higher as you can see here. And RSI relative strength index is 38. That tells you it's very low here. And IV percentile is 66.8. That's uh, pretty high as you can see here. You could make some good money selling some put options here. And look uh, from a, a chart perspective, from a DMI perspective, right now it's bearish given uh, the red line is going higher. And now it's uh, kind of coming down as you can see. That's a good sign. And blue line is down. Right now it's bearish. That's when I enter positions and uh, you know go from there and look from a volume average perspective it's coming down there is some selling pressure mainly because stock came down and now it's stabilizing check in money flow is also indicating it's coming down that happens when the stock is so getting sold off like this year all right now what we'll do is we look at the option chain and see what's going on with this company all right, from an option chain perspective, we could region around here. I would say go 100, 102 days out to see what's going on here, which is about three months out. Look, as you look through here from an open interest perspective, this this is not traded too uh, actively in the option market. So I would say, you know, you could rather buy the stock outright versus options as a scan through this year. Look, there is a call option traded around six, 1,600 put option traded just 756 that makes the put call ratio around 0 0.47 that's a you know that's a bullish bias here but this this uh, stock is not traded heavily in the options market i would rather buy the stock in your retirement account or long term account given stock is uh, down from its uh, 52 week high and try to make its way higher all right now let's go back here and look at maybe a few more here and look, we got a few more here. We got Moderna. Moderna, as you can see here, it's got a tech, technical rating of sell at this time here. Uh, Moderna has got, uh, as you see here, it's got nice uh, rating, growth rating A and profitability rating F. But I would rather look at, uh, you know, a little more better rating stocks here. What comes to mind is uh, GMAB here, GenMab. Now, I like this company as you look through Gen Mab here. Um, look, it's got a nice 10 year performance of 4,500%, five year performance of 38%. And uh, look, it's uh, doing pretty okay as you can see here. More importantly, look at that performance uh, for next year EPS growth and revenue growth, uh, G Mab right here. Look, they got nice next double digit EPS growth and revenue growth for next year. And nice uh, Altman Z score. Pietro's F score is uh, a four, which is uh, not great, but I would take it. And uh, look at this one here. All right, let's go back here and look at GMAB. All right, I would put GMAB here. And I would go to the chart, look at the chart here. And I would probably make it a daily chart here. Uh, let's make it daily chart. Look, we got our GMAB. Let's do GMAB. All right, look what's going on in GMAB here. Um, off late, look, there's a huge big drop in the stock here. 
look there is a big drop as you can see here um, and it bottomed out uh, now it's trying to make its way higher slowly uh, still deciding where to go and now i can go back to this uh, chart here see what's going on gmap um, look as we see here it's uh, stabilizing right now look gmap is kind of bottoming out nicely and stabilizing right now as you can see here our rsi is 41 that tells you stock is oversold and as you look through here gmap earnings per share came down slightly as you can see here uh, slightly it came down from 1.62 to 0.67 and sales a little bit moderated as you see here uh, shares outstanding is pretty constant no big deal here and look from a margin perspective nice profitable profit margin here 26 percent that's a great here and it's, as you see here this one has got two upgrades um, and uh, i think the latest upgrade is uh, i think it's right now it's initiated as you see here with the cohen and uh, uh, they got a price target of 38 as you look through the current price here it's 30 there's a eight dollar upside here i think it's a you know good one it's a as you can see here it's based in denmark not a u.s company uh, you could uh, buy this one here it's a good one here good prospect the stock is sold off here now let's go to thinkerswim platform from td ameritrade see what's going on with this stock here all right now i'll bring up gmab here All right, so GMAB, as you see here, we got GMAB. Look, stock is, uh, you know, it has come down in the past. Now it's trying to make its way higher. Look, right now it's uh, trying to uh, bottom out, consolidate, and make its next move, which can be higher. As you see here, we got um, uh, momentum increasing. As you see here, RSI is trying to go higher. And we got implied volatility, which is coming down this uh, yellow, uh, sorry, uh, blue line here coming down. That tells you it's becoming less volatile of late. And look from a um, DMI perspective, which is one of my favorite indicator. Red line wants to come down. Blue, blue line is stabilizing and wants to go higher. And volume average on the balance volume perspective it's uh, you know it came down but now it's stabilizing consolidating it can go higher on the balance volume perspective it's a slight uptick here that tells you smart money wants to buy this stock here so that's why i would uh, look at considering gmap here at these levels uh, given it's got nice prospectus now let's go back here look at one or two more and go from there all right so as you look through here we got a few more here modern at this uh, you got to be a little bit careful this used to be a covid stock with covid now moderating um it's uh, not doing great if i bring up a chart you will realize let's go to quickly moderna and see what's going on so with moderna as you see here <clears throat> we got the chart i can make this uh, maybe a weekly chart just to give you an idea look look at the weekly chart here stock came, came down pretty sharp you know after uh, 2021 say somewhere around uh, you know um, june july time frame stock came down pretty hard as you can see here now it's uh, kind of consolidating at these levels here you know it's a good stock but uh, you know this is one of those stocks it's a you know covid winner but now it's uh, giving back its uh, mojo and as you scan through here moderna look it's got a uh, eps high in uh, 2021 and we got nice uh, uh, sales going on in 2021 and it's got shares outstanding growing slightly one of the concern i have with moderna is because uh, it's going to be difficult comparison um, in 2022 company had done very well in 2021 you know if you are to you know increase and beat this 2021 estimate it's going to be tough comparison that's one of the reason i would go with the better stocks versus uh, buying moderna here all right now let's jump in here and look at a few more and if you know i like royalty i know many of you might be knowing royalty this company you know uh, pays money to other smaller companies and uh, gets the royalty for their drugs which is a good business model but look what's going on with royalty 
Um, they got uh, sales growth just 4%, not great as you can see here. They got good net margin, but if you look at their performance here, they have not done well from a performance perspective, which is negative 4% as you see here in one year. It's got nice rating here. Um, it also has nice uh, growth expectations, um, but it's not done very well in the past. You know, look, I would uh, look at stocks like Insight here. Insight has got great rating as you can see here. Uh, grade A from for financials. Uh, growth is grade B. Profitability is uh, grade B. I would look at such names here and go after those. Um, so uh, we could uh, look at INC here very quickly and go from there. All right, so we got INC here. Let's go to a daily chart. Look, INSIGHT or INC, it's a, it has a nice, uh, um, you know, nice uh, pattern here. Right now, it's trying to see where to go. And um, you could make a case, you know, after coming down big time here, it can make a nice base around this uh, 72 or so, and it can go higher. Right now, it's sold off, as you can see here, RSI is very low. And look, they're doing pretty okay. Look at that um, EPS here. They're growing their EPS nicely. Good. So top line sales is uh, sales growth is there. That's great. Shares outstanding is pretty pretty constant. No big deal here. And you know, some of these analyst downgrades are very old. February 9. I would not look at this right now. And look, it's a, it's a good one. You could uh, look at this company here and go from there. <clears throat> and if you have to go back to Thinkorswim platform to see what's going on here, I could bring up uh, INC here, Insight. All right, Insight right now, IV percentile is low, RSI is low. Uh, stock is really wondering where to go, as you can see here. But look, uh, um, momentum is kind of staying steady at this time. On the balance volume is slightly coming down and check-in money flow is also slightly coming down. That tells you right now there's a slight bearishness to the stock here. Um, but uh, you could uh, accumulate for the longer term, given it's got a very good rating. As you can see here, uh, we got INC with the great rating, financials, growth, and uh, and even profitability. And it's got a buy rating from analysts here. You could uh, take a look at that one also. And we got a few more here. We'll probably look at one or two more and wrap up here. Look, we got Excel Axis, one of my favorite stock here. Stock it down big time, as you can see here. And 10-year return is great. 311 percent as you look through excel axis here um, it's it's a positive net margin company 20 percent positive net margin that's great here and iv percentile is about uh, about 46 as you can see here and as you scan through this year uh, they got a nice next year eps growth as well as revenue growth here and nice uh, uh, ranking when it comes to financials growth uh, good grades Petrovsky f score 7 is great i like it so you could look at this company here and go from there so we are looking at excel axis here all right so excel axis look what's going on here we got a daily chart here stock came tumbling down that's the fate of these uh, biotech stocks uh, look when they're down they're down big time now it's trying to go higher even up here rsi is 44 tells you it can uh, go much higher than this price here and as you look through here look at uh, what's going on here from an eps perspective slight uptick i like it sales top line sales is growing i love it shares outstanding is constant no big deal here and uh, looks like all these uh, analyst analyst uh, recommendations are old we don't need to look at those and as you scan through here there is some news going on here and uh, folks are wondering what to do um, nothing concrete here and as you scan through here looks like uh, look nice uh, let's look at the earnings uh, let's look at the revenue here quarterly basis they're doing well on the revenue side no big deal here and as you scan through your net income here net income is also positive company is making money so you could look at uh, this company here this is a stock to buy as it's rebounding i think it's still um, you know good to buy here low price 19 dollars a good swing trading type candidate here and probably we'll look at one more and wrap up here and let's look at one with the nice uh, next year uh, eps growth here and wrap it up 
And we've got a few more as you see here. I want to look at uh, one of the good stocks with nice rating. And look, we got MRVI, $32 stock here. Um, this one has got negative. I would not look at this one here. Next year EPS and revenue growth is negative. I would rather look at a stock like a Rare here, which is a which is a good one. I like Rare. I trade it trade this um, you know once in a while. It's a good one here. Um, Fifty one dollar stock as you can see here. Nice uh, next year growth here. Uh, next year uh, price target. Let's look at Rare and see if we can buy Rare. All right, Rare is a biotech stock as many of you might be knowing here. Um, it's uh, find the cure for Rare Rare disease as name indicates. Look, stock after getting, you know, beaten down big time. Look at this year; it's a bottoming out and trying to make its way higher. That's when I like to catch the stocks here. Look, uh, RSI perspective is strengthening. That's a good one here. And as you scan through here, rare. One of the reasons it's coming down is look at their earnings per share. It's coming down. Wall Street does not like this. But as you look through here, nice sales uptick here. Top line is growing, and shares outstanding is growing slightly, which is okay. When the when the uh, revenue growth is accelerating like this, I can take small shares outstanding growth. Not a big deal. And look at the gross margin here. Nice 94 percent gross margin. That's also great. And from an analyst perspective, a little bit dated here. I would not uh, look at this one here. A little bit dated. It's uh, from March. And as you scan through here, uh, we can uh, see what's going on with insiders here. Looks like uh, insiders are selling slightly, not too much, not a big deal. Institutions are selling slightly. It's also not a big deal here. So with that, let's uh, jump in here. Look at the uh, Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade and bring up Rare. All right, rare look. Uh, the, one of the reason I catch this stocks is uh, this stock is trying to make its way higher slowly after a beaten, beaten down big time here. And look, uh, uh, DMI perspective, the blue line wants to go higher, red line wants to come down here. This can make a bullish crossover once the blue line crosses over red line. And look, on the balance volume is going higher, taking money flow is going higher. So this is one of the perfect stock. We are catching it at the right time. You could uh, buy this great company at this uh, rock bottom levels here and go from there. So with that, I'll uh, go back to this year and um, you can look at a few more names. I will not go, go through them in detail. You know, you could look at stocks uh, which are doing very well from a next year revenue and EPS perspective. Look, we got Z Lab, China based company, as many of you know here. It's got nice next year um, EPS growth and revenue growth. You could look at that one also. And as you look through here, you got Insmed, again, beaten down stock here. Nice EPS growth and uh, revenue growth for next year. You could look at that one also. And we'll go maybe one or two more here. We got VSAL, $27 stock here. Nice EPS growth and revenue growth for next year. You could look at VSAL here. And as you scan through, we got one more here. It's $17 stock here. VCYT, you could look at that one also. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.